I don't think it's technically that bad for you. This is well worth it. My hair has been falling out in Bali. Not $18, $23. Fresh air in spring, like I miss. I miss that. Found affordable sauerkraut, and I love sauerkraut so much. Hi. For some reason, the pool cleaner didn't turn up yesterday. The pool looks like a green swamp. This is not good. I mentioned to you guys previously how I'm trying to go down the Ayurvedic medicine route to fix my hormone imbalance and my periods. I have been raving about Shatavari for the last few months. I'll link the vlog up here. I talk about it in depth, but it's completely fixing my PMDD, my menstrual cramp, balancing my hormones. The effect that it's had so far is just so crazy to me. And then for the last couple of weeks, I've started taking ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is meant to be incredible for hormone balancing, anxiety, depression, all that stuff. So yeah, I'm taking these two in combination at the moment. I'm feeling really good about it. Okay, it is lunchtime and I'm gonna go to get dosa because I think about this dosa a few times a week. I'm not kidding. It's like my guilty pleasure food, even though I don't think it's technically that bad for you but it's just the best thing ever and i crave it all the time it's another boiling hot day let's head out and get some lunch this poor thing's just come over looking a bit worse for wear I think she just wants a cuddle. Hey. 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 I'm currently in the supermarket shopping for ingredients. Tomorrow I decided I'm going to make cheese toasties and tomato soup from scratch just because I've been really craving it. Um, but currently struggling in the cheese section because cheese is so expensive here. They're asking like one packet of cheddar was $18. I managed to find one for seven dollars but like it's still ridiculous okay sorry not eighteen dollars twenty three dollars for a packet of cheese oh my goodness this is my lucky day i was just talking about how much i wanted hot cross buns for easter and they have them and they don't cost a fortune Back from the supermarket i thought i would do a little grocery haul i haven't done one of these in a while this is like my new favorite alcoholic beverage it's called santai and they're these um seltzers and they're so delicious i think it's a local brand really enjoying those got some extortionate cheddar cheese <laughs> butter some more Oatly milk. I have kind of switched back to drinking regular milk now when I have coffees like out in cafes and things. At home I have outside for like tea. Did I say Oatly earlier? I meant outside. But like outside of the house I'm back to drinking normal milk. I got chopped tomatoes for the tomato soup. This sounds random but I have been struggling to find tomato ketchup. Like this is like gold dust and I saw a whole aisle today <laughs> of Heinz tomato ketchup, so I grabbed two, just in case. Got some bread for the toasties. I'm so happy I found these. Hot cross buns, perfect for Easter. What's this, like pan au or some kind of chocolate bread. Found affordable sauerkraut, and I love sauerkraut so much. I love um, like sour things, like sauerkraut, kimchi, pickles. This would actually be really nice in the toasties. And then I just got this Kewpie Caesar salad dressing. I ordered the penne pasta with smoked salmon and this was the seafood linguine. This is the seafood linguine that was served with a really generous portion of, that was served with a really generous portion of prawns and mussels. So just filmed a voiceover for my new reel, which always takes me ages. Do not underestimate how long it takes to do a reel, especially a voiceover. There's a lot of like, cuts and editing that goes into it but on the subject of reels i just wanted to let you guys know that my how to go viral with reels ebook is finally live 
If any of you are looking to grow your Instagrams this year, whether it's for a personal brand or for your business, I go over everything that you need to know about creating viral reels. In 2024, reels is the only way to grow your Instagram right now, which means that whether you like it or not, creating short form video content is the way to go. So I break everything down for you guys in really simple chapters. I also share how I personally create my reels, all my top tips and tricks, equipment that I use. Yeah, if you're really looking for ways to fast track your Instagram growth, as an Easter special, I'm giving 20% off for Easter weekend. So you can use the promo code Easter at checkout. So yeah, if you wanna go check it out, I will link it down below. And my camera is flashing red, story of my life. I'm actually feeling really homesick this weekend. I think it's because it's, it's like Easter weekend and Easter used to be one of my favorite times to be in the UK. I remember when I was younger, I would stack my Easter eggs up all on top of each other, like Easter eggs and mini eggs and cream eggs. Our Easter chocolate is just the best. And I used to be able to get some of it in Singapore, but in Bali, you just cannot find any of it. Like I can't find mini eggs, I can't find Cadbury's eggs. And I don't know, I was a bit sad about it because I was like, those little things when you're living overseas give you that home comfort. But in Bali, it's really, really hard to find, even more so than Singapore. Just feeling a bit homesick. And I, I don't know, I just wish I was back home for Easter weekend because I love spring as well. Spring is like, just even the fresh air in spring, like I miss, I miss that. What I might try to do is on Sunday, there is a place where I can get a roast dinner and I feel like I need some kind of roast dinner on Easter Sunday, right? Roast dinner on Easter Sunday is like, it has to be done. So that might be something I need to do. Good morning, lovely people. It's Easter Sunday, happy Easter everyone. I am actually uploading this video on Easter Sunday. This is how we work sometimes. We work right up to our deadline. So this video will be going up tonight. So you guys know I mentioned that I wanted to book Easter Sunday dinner. I found a British pub in Changu. I didn't even know this existed, but then we had a friend mention it a couple of weeks back. And then I just saw a TikTok of this girl posting a Sunday roast at the same place. And I was like, oh my God, that roast dinner looks amazing. So I went ahead and booked a roast dinner there. I just want the roast potatoes, the gravy. Oh, I'm just so excited. So if you remember me mentioning that my hair has been falling out in Bali, my hair has been falling out, it's been thinning, which has a lot to do with the water here. Even though I bought a shower filter, I feel like it's still not really working. So what I've tried to do is put less heat on my hair so I've not been blow drying it. I've been using like curling wand or anything like that to curl my hair. This is just kind of how it is naturally. I have very naturally wavy. Anyway, I knew I saw a lot of girls talking about getting a hair serum and then I totally forgot that I had this ordinary hair serum. It's the multi-peptide serum for hair density. So this is supposed to give you thicker, denser and fuller and healthier hair. So I'm so glad that I had this and I didn't even realize. All you do is put a few drops of this into scalp with dry hair and then I just kind of massage it into my scalp. And honestly, just hope for the best. Like I really hope this is gonna work. I've been using it for about a week now. I'm just gonna kind of let that dry. But yeah, if any of you ladies watching have any other tips or products that you would suggest for hair regrowth, um, or hair loss, please do let me know in the comments below. I would very much appreciate it. Wow, wow, wow. We've been very patient for this. It's taken about 45 minutes but this is well worth it. I went for the half chicken. Looks like we've got cauliflower and cheese, roast potatoes, vegetables and even Yorkshire pudding which I was not expecting. Yeah, just got back from lunch. It was absolutely delicious. I was pleasantly surprised. It was so similar to an English roast dinner. Um, but that place was a bit chaotic, I think, because it was Easter Sunday. It was just so busy and loud, and there was kids screaming, and it was craziness. We did end up waiting about an hour for our lunch to come, but it was so worth it in the end. I was really pleasantly surprised. And a really generous sized portion as well. I think that was around 12 Singapore dollars, so really reasonably priced. The thing about being in a pub that's nice is that sometimes the food does take a long time to come, but it gives you kind of like 
a few hours to get out the house like you kind of make an afternoon of it but right now it feels like 35 degrees it is absolutely boiling i need to go sit in the air conditioning and just cool down but happy easter everyone i hope you have a lovely day thank you so much for watching this vlog as always remember to like and subscribe for more and i will see you guys in next week's video bye Christmas is all about. Lights, please.